duba darimi na 84 zai ga hukuncin malaman su ta harijin da suka cewa hadisi ne isnadin sarjalu husiqat hadisi ina malamal umar bin al-khattab ya ga annabi dan ya kade ta da ruwata sama mamaki buhari bai ga annabi ba kuma bai ga ibn dahman ba mutum biyu ne tsakanin su gunwaye karba shine kan buhari zakai kan kasa zakai magana ba kan sama ba magana kan aini kalamul akran yu'wa wala yurwa wannan idan da ka kawo abin da ya wanke buhari kan riwayar amma ga ibn hajar baki uku ya kowanne karo aini ya gaskata kenan kan cewa isnadin hadisi wannan isnadin da ya kawo ba a sami wannan riwaya ba shi kuma wanda ya ce ga mai an san mutum biyu ne tsakanin su da shi bai ganshi ba hanya daya da ibn dahman ya fadi maganan nan ba wannan kazantar dan da sama ne kawai fikirar farko ce ziyarar gidan ummu sallam ce ba magana gaba daya bukin nan na zainab buhari shi yasan inda ya samu ta to in kana san mu tabbata gaske kake fito mana da inda ya samu ibn hajar dai gashi baka kuma ce ne mai zaka ce ne mai kariya ka dauko ta nesa ga wanda na fada yanzu ta wuna ta ma an bata annabi yana abin da ba ai ba dan ya tabbatar da batawar ita ya kamata yanzu ka tauna shin abubuwan da na fada yayin nan ya yi ko bi ba kaka tafi nisa ga wadda yanzu muke kanta sannan ka hada hadisai biyu go daya hadisin ummu asim da na bahisa na bahisa da banna ummu asim da ban ummu asim ba maganar runguma maganar shafaci bahisa shine na runguma kuma ka duba har su masu takarijin dan ba lokacin tattaunawa da suka ce da ifi ne da ifi ne gaskiya da yake daya ce in kaje anadari ni zaka ga sun ce rijalu husikatu wannan yake nuna da da tsaki a magana kuma ni na bi ta wannan tadifin na ƙarya ne suka yi shi a da bisa sharɗin su hadisi sai hini a kuma littafi in ka duba zaka ga a riwaya hadisi isnadi daya kuma ya tafi inganta shi ya soke ya soke ya tafi cikin darimi ya soke shi Abu Dawud ya soke shi Musnad Ahmad ya tafi darimi ya inganta shi in ka duba zaka ga wannan utubatu bin farqat ina san ka fada min malami daya da ya tabbatar da su hubarsa bayan Husaynu dan Abdurrahman magana su hubarsa shi ko Husaynu dan Abdurrahman a sa rana mai magana da kai akwai shakka a musuluncin sa ma gaba daya da karerai nan har na runguma annabin dishiyar waice su na shafa waccan shiyar waita yana da hadisi sai kaza mai kan ma'aikin Allah na amira cikin rijal bukhari wa muslim amma ta alamu suna nuna haƙiƙar munafiki ne bai iman da ma'aiki ba in kuma da wani malami da ka samu kar ka ce min ai a usudul gaba an samu hanya ta hadisin to zaka fadi cire wa yayi rawi da ya cire domin shi usudul gaba isnadin nasa ya koma ta kan ibn abi asim ne to koma alahad wal masanin ka duba ka ga cire wa yayi dan gudun da tuhuma kan wannan ya datsa isnadin ya jona shi wannan kuma ita ce matsalar da nake ta fito da ita a kullun kuma kamata ku dego ta ku tauna dai bayan daya ba kawai kun take duk dogon karatun da ne da na ce babu abin nan ai da dalile da na fada na ce babu kamar hidimar anas kafin mu tafi rigima yanzu gurin anas fara tabbatar min da cewa ya san annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya san shi ya yi wa annabi hidima tai sakan daya kaga ba ku aiko nan ba domin nayi bayani cikakke a buhari kansa magana hudu ce duk tai karo ba za ta hadu ba tun addu'an annabi madina yake hidima bai san annabi ba sai da za a khaibara yana magana sadda za a tafi yakin hudu kuma shi kadai ne daga shi sai ma'aikin Allah ya tafi abin da aka go mun tana na bashi amsa su yake da magana akai kuma su ma zan bashi amsa akai amma kafin nan ka fara tabbatar da wadannan tukun mugun matsogaci suka kududu langwai mata maza matsogaci a ina Anas ya gaya wa annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wannan shine mauzu'in da muke kai saboda kada mutane su dauka me akan wadannan abubuwa da suke da wani su ne muke da magana akai abu na biyu a guguje mala yana chakudo wasu mustalahat na malamai shin idan aka ce da hadisi rijaluhu thiqatun ko a ce rijaluhu rijal sahih yana nufin hadisi ingantacce ne ina da kyau malan ya koma ya game malamai na hadisi suke fada akan wannan ga wannan littafi na almudawi li ila aljami' as-sagir wa shaykh al-munawi ina da kyau ka karanta 
dan ka san bambanci tsakanin hadisun sahihun da kuma rijalu hu rijalus sahi da kuma rijalu hu thiqat domin zai iya kasancewa wannan thiqa ne amma a samu me inqita'i zai kasancewa wannan thiqa ne dukanin su amma hadisi ne wanda yake me mu'dal zai kasancewa rijalu hu thiqat amma hadisi ne kasance mursal wanda wannan kuma dukan nau'i ne na illoli wanda mazajan su kuma za a ce da hadisin idan an ka a ce kuma rijalu hu thiqatun ko rijalu hu rijalus sahi wani ya ke malam ya dinga bambance tsakanin wadannan mustalahat din abu na na gaba magana da malam yake ta shigo da ta tinda manta ne saboda ne lokaci da mun danna maka mas'ala na anas dan malik ina tabbatun sai a khaibar sai a khaibar sai a khaibar wannan tuntuni ibn haji gaba da amsa a kai wanda kuma a karatukan ka muna nan da muntunan da ka zo cewa kai ba amsa amma kuma amsan mai ibn hajar ya bada ita ibn hajar aka kaba tur wa ya ce anas dan malik annabi da zai fita khaibar ya ce a ka masa me yaran da zai masa hidima karshe sai abu talha sai ya kai masa anas dan malik shi yasa ma ibn hajar da tashi sai yake cewa ba wai anan ne anas dan malik ya kasance tare da annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ba a tuntuni suna tare amma yanzu ta hidima ce ta musamman ta daban special duty ne annabi zai bayar iba abu talha neman wanda zai wannan aikin shi kuma abu talha sai ya ga to ai ga ma anas yana zaune sai ya ce da annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam to ga anas ya je maka hidima wannan shine abun da yake a cikin waya wadda daliban ka kana cewa da su ba amsa ibn hajar bai bayar ba alhali kuma amsan me tana cikin littafin san nan sana fato albari wanda da da lokaci da mun dauko mu haskawa al'umma saboda ya kasance sun kalli wannan abun domin su tabbatar Abu na kusa na karshe shine malai yana karanto zan tittika amma gini yake a karuwa ya ce guri uku ibn hajar ya tuka dogara ya ce an yi kaza ya ce an yi kaza amma fa babu falitafi daya da ya bude yake karantowa babu gu daya da inunawa al'umma kawai zan tika yake a karuwa idan aka wannan kaga tuhuma ce wacce take me bata tabbata wa balle ma a yi martani akan ta mu dawo kan abubuwan da ake tuhuma ka akai duk da wannan shine mu dakara na karshe cewa ga sunan ka ka sa kawowa mugun matsorace suka kududu langwai mata maza matsorace wadannan duk baka kasu ba wanda kuma mun karu waya ingantacciya kan cewa Anas dan Malik ya fada ya nanata cewa annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam shine ashja'in nas shine mafi sadaukantaka mafi jarumtan mutane shine manzan Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanda har ma karshen hadisin i fadi wata daraja na tagor annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam yake cewa da ta kasance ba ta da sauri ai afwan tagwa na abu talha abu talha afwan dokin abu talha ko tagwa abu talha da ba ya sauri amma daga lokacin da aka ce annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya hau kansa albarka ta sauka marmar wani albarka ya sauka akan wannan me doki ko kuma wannan rakumi na shi abu talha radiyallahu ta'ala an sai kasance in da la'ai ga sata rigegeniya to wannan dokin ko wannan taguwa ita ce ta daya to wannan fa shine gwayin anas dan malik bayanin daraja mu'ujiza pipiko girma daukaka mutunci na annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam amma yau gashi an waye gari kawai sai dai me a dauko wani zance na daban sai a ce anas dan malik sai a dauko wannan sharar sai a ce anas dan malik amma kuma ana zuwa aka ce ina wajen sai a ce a'a ba wannan ba wancan ba a zo kai ba ko ba wannan muka tsara ba alhali kuma mai amsa ce babu adaka haka wannan yake tabbatar da shawara wadannan zan tika su ma kai ne ka kirkira ka ga manzan Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam assalamu alaikum to alhamdulillah da har mai karara zai buga sai malam kabir yayi sallama a wannan shine minti biyar biyar da ake ba mu kowannen su yayi dauraya kuma wannan shine ya kawo mu karshen wannan zama na tattaunawa kuma kamar yadda muka fada a wata gaba wannan tattaunawa da ake bayanin da ake kowa dai yana jin su da Hausa ake bayanin nan babu wani abin da yake shige ma mai sauraro a duhu a ma me sauraro shine hakikanin alkali akan wannan tattaunawa da aka yi 
kafin na gabatar da abun magana ga mai girma commissioner harkokin addinin musulunci na'am eh ai shi amma ai zaka yi bayani na ƙarshe eh shine yake cewa kafin na mayar da abun magana ya zuwa gare ka a'a ai magana ta kare tun farko muka yi ta neman ka cewa in kana da littafi ka dauko ka karanta a'a ai an ba da lokaci a lokacin da ake bayarwa su suna dauko littafi su karanta su bude a'a ai kai ma a'a ai kai ma kai ma a'a an ba wa kowa cewa izo da shirin sa za a zo a tattauna kowa da irin shirin da yayi in kana da hujja da kake so ka ka a littafi kamata yayi yau koda zaman daga ina zuwa koda zaman daga yanzu zuwa magariba ne ba zai yi ka zo da littafa 500 ba ka bude shafin da kake so ka yi reference da shi kai masa alama ba ko zaman ko da ko daga nan zamu zo na zuwa a salatu in dai ba ka yi alama ga irin shafuffukan da za ka yi reference da su ba to in ka bude ai ga an ba ka lokaci zaka iya karanta kamar da duk su sun karanta a ai ba dole sai ka karanto abin da littafa 500 ba to yana mukada kage wannan so abinda ya bayyana daga wannan tattaunawa shine a dukkan wadannan gabobi guda shida da aka tattauna akan su da tambayoyi da wadannan malamai suka gabatar mu malam Abdul Jabbar abinda ya bayyana daga wannan zama da kuma wadannan tattauna da aka yi na gabuba guda baku a shida da tambayoyin da aka yi ta gabatar mu malam Abdul Jabbar abinda ya bayyana shine a kowace gaba duk tambayar da aka gabatar mu malam Abdul Jabbar baya tsayawa akan tambayoyin da aka gabatar masa baya tsayawa ya bada amsoshi akan tambayoyin da ake ake aka gabatar masa saboda da farko yana cewa babu isashen lokaci na biyu yana cewa a tsaya akan wato maudu'i guda daya a yi magana amma shine in ya tashi baya tsayawa akan maudu'i guda dayan sai yayi ta yawo ya hado mas'aloli daban-daban mai makon yayi addressin din ainihin tambayoyin da aka yi masa sannan kuma abinda ake bukata akan wadansu tambayoyin shine cewa in an in, in yayi da awar cewa maganar da yayi ta kaza daga littafi kaza ya, ya, ya gani in an bukaci cewa ya bude littafin i karanto mu mutane still sai ya bada uzurin cewa babu lokacin da zai budo littafin i karanto wa mutane wadannan dai duk wadanda suke wannan wuri sun san abin da yake faruwa dan haka wato ainihin misali in abin da nake fada kariya ne duk wanda suke nan sun gani a a ai an ba mu kowa dama an ba an ba wa kowa dama cewa ya bude littafi dan haka abin da i bayyana a wannan zama shine wadannan maganganu wadanda suke tayar da usuma a cikin al'umar musulmi kuma saboda kasancewar maganganu ne na batanci ga manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanda wato malam jabbar yake gabatarwa a karatuttukan sa da wa'azozin sa an zo an yi wannan zama an masa tambayoyi akai amma abin da i bayyana zahiri daga cikin abubuwan da aka yi shine malam abdul jabbar ya kasa ba da amsa ga wadannan tambayoyin bai ba da amsa gamsa su ga wadannan tambayoyi ba duk wanda yake saurar ko yake gani ya san malam abdul jabbar bai ba da amsa akan wadannan tambayoyi ba kuma maganganu da yake yi na ilimin hadisi duk wanda ya san ilimin hadisi ya san maganganu ne da yake cacca ku da maganganu wadanda suke wato wadansunsu ba akan doran ilimin hadisi yake gina su ba dan haka mai girma commissioner harkokin addinin musulunci wannan shine verdict shine hukuncin da ni a matsayina na shugaban wannan zama 
da kuma abin da na hankalta na nazarta na gani shine waɗannan tambayoyi da waɗannan malamai suka gabatar ma malam Abdul Jabbar bai ba da amsa akan su ba yayi ta kan kekkewayawa yayi ta kewayawa amma babu wata tambaya guda ɗaya da tun kare ta gadan gadan ya ba da amsa akan ta wannan kuma ya rige ga wato gwamnati ta nazarci wannan abin uh, ta san matakin da za ta dauka Allah ya dace da mu muna godiya ga ni musamman ina godiya akan wannan alfarma da aka yi mun ba dan nafi kowa ba aka bani wannan matsayi na shugabantan wannan zama wannan al'amari ne mai girma naji girman sa kware da gaske uh, ina gabatar da godiya mai girma uh, commissioner kuma ina fatan za a isa da wannan godiya tawa ga mai girma gwamna khadimul islam akan wannan alfarma Allah ya dace da mu abinda dai muka nema shine yardar Allah da kuma kare mutuncin manzon Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam Allah ya samu dace wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to alhamdulillah kamar da ake gani taro yayi zuwa karshe kuma commissioner harkokin addinai to a ma an ce kamata yi a chairman na wannan zama yi jawabin da turanci saboda ina ga yan jaridu wasu ba sa fahimtar harshen Hausa a honorable commissioner for religious affairs the chairman of the sharia commission kano state and other permanent commissioners that are here distinguished scholars that are holy, all here uh, security men gentlemen of the press we have come to the end of this sitting which was a sitting for the purpose of dialogue between malam abdul jabbar and uh, on the other hand a section of the muslim scholars in kano who disagree with malam abdul jabbar on his contentious preaching as we said earlier contentious preachings and issues that he raises in his teachings and preachings issues that are blasphemous as far as these scholars are concerned <coughs> issues that are sacrilegious issues that should never be associated with prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam issues that are damaging to the owner the nobility and the sublime position of prophet muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam it is for the purpose of reaching an understanding between these scholars and malam abdul jabbar that this sitting was agreed upon and approved by his excellency the governor of kano state khadimul islam and today by the grace of allah we have had this sitting and uh, we have had about three rounds i mean six rounds of discussions on s- s- several issues at each round different issues were presented and all these issues were discussed exclusively different from other issues presented in other rounds from what has transpired in the discussion what has become clear is that these scholars these scholars challenge malam abdul jabbar on some on, on the contentious issues that he raised at the beginning he complained that the issues that were being raised were not part of the issues that were presented to the government of kano state but then the audio that these scholars presented to the government of kano state was played at the instance of the honorable commissioner and it became very clear that all the issues that were being presented to him were part and parcel of the audio that were that was presented by these scholars to the governor of kano state 
and after all the, the six rounds, what has become clear is that Malam Abdul Jabbar failed to answer the questions that were raised by these scholars. He failed to answer these questions by dodging the questions in some way or by bringing issues that are unrelated to the questions at each particular instance or by, you know, beating about the bush without necessarily standing on the actual issues that were presented to him at each particular round of discussion. From what has become clear, and as I say, Malam Abdul Jabbar did not answer those questions to the, to the satisfaction of these scholars and to the satisfaction of every objective observer. Because these discussions were conducted in an orderly manner. And the issues that were raised were very clear. And what was expected was when issues are presented to you in any dialogue, you should, you should precisely and straightforwardly address those issues. You don't have to bring other unrelated issues. You don't have to beat about the bush. You don't have to, you know, talk in a way that you divert people's attention from the actual issues. And this is what happened. And it is for this reason that we said that Malan Abdul Jabbar did not answer those questions that were raised to him and presented to him by these scholars. This brings us to the end of this dialogue between these scholars and Malan Abdul Jabbar. And every objective listener or every objective mind that watches the videos would come to this conclusion. Thank you, Honorable Commissioner. Thank you, brothers and sisters in Islam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. To alhamdulillah, you don't have to be a child of God. You don't have to be a child of God. You don't have to be a child of God. So, you don't have to be a child of God. You don't have to be a child of God. Mijirma Komishina dan shima ya yi nasa jawabu na gudia. Honorable Komishina. Awuzi billahi mina shaitana rajim. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashrafil mursaleen. Mijirma shugabamu. Shugabamu kuma shara'a. Sayyidi Muhammad al-Bashir. Dan shugabamu shak tijana usman. Mijirma Fopesa Jagora Mala Mumu Ajamea Dede Gachiki Ngwaraza Daka Nemo Shizu Manya Manya Mala Medi Sikinang Assalamu Alaikum Alhamdulillahi Muna Gude Wa Allah Muna Gude Wa Allah Muna Kara Gude Wa Allah Anyi Wanna Ntaro Lafia Anzo Karshansa Lafia Dya Abanda aki jin tsoro Alhamdulillahi Allah ya kadishi Mi girma gamna Kamariya de muka fata Tinda ga paruko amas ayin sana jagora Anka yi masa kore pi Akan wannan Masala ta ampata manzo Ampat numa gana anye kaza Gama ta kenda aka dauka Shi wanda aki zirgi Wanda aki tuhuma Yeni ma ay masa adalichi Kuma gamna nita takara ba Alhamdulillahi muta ni sin tifat amma gana dewa. Gwamnati bata sante yi. Gwamnati tana ikinyi. Gwamnati ma ita kaza. Hadda gawaje anyi tama ganganu. Watan sisi ni tifat amma ganganu. Manya manya. Harika anshu goda iyalin sa chiki. Anshu ba apanda ba aywa. Atak ay chede yanzi gwamnati njahar kanu taata uchi gabanga barar. Chiwa aytaru anyi. Dang haka muna jinjina. Wana nasara. Temi gilma gwamnati njahar kanu uchi. Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduji. Khadimu al-Islam. Ya te maka adini. Kuma ya te maka ma la may. Di kishur war abande ya da mesu. Dan sun kusayi mbore. Ama de yaw. Kuma ya kari. Babu shaka zami gudia. Gajami ansaru. Naparin kaya. Watu DSS kena. Da kuma ma si inform. Su kuma ensanda kena. Sabo da mahim manchin sa randa sika bayar. Agari. Izuwa nang. Aka itarana lafia. Aka gama lafia. Megirima kwa mashina yansanda sabu na mihimu manchung 
wannan abu da kuma tsaro ya turo mataimakin sa gashi muna tare da shi ya turo manyi manyan jami'ai amma sai da ya zo da kansa dan ya gaya abu yake ciki ya ake ciki shi ma na farin kaya DSS bayan ya turo manyan jami'an sa shi ba ma ya gari amma yana magana da su me ake ciki me ake ciki to an yi lafiya an gama lafiya yanzu abin da ya rage illa mutane sun ji abin da ya faru za su hukunci za su dauka me aka yi me aka yi me aka yi an dai ji ya kuma rage gwamnati ita kuma ta dauki mutakin da za ta dauka amma mun tabbata kamar yadda mai girma gama ya fada an gayyaci mana Abdul Jabbar ya zo nan gurin cikin aminci kuma za a mai da shi gida cikin aminci in Allah ya da an gayyaci malaman nan cikin aminci an ba ku mota kun taho an dauko ku za a mai da ku inda aka dauko ku cikin aminci dan gayyaci dan jaridu su ma sun zo cikin aminci za a koma cikin aminci muna fata Allah ya wannan taro albarka Allah ya sa wannan abin da aka yi ya zama wato mabudi na toshe wata kafa ta fitina musamman ga janibin jagora annabin mu sallallahu alaihi wasallam wanda ya fi karfin a taba shi a wannan ya nuna cewa annabi shine annabi malamai ba za su hakura ba mutane ba za su hakura ba komai aka yi annabi ba za a hakura ba muna kuma ba da shawara a gwamnatance idan za a yi magana a yi daidai da hankalin mutane mutanenka da kake magana da su to kai magana daidai da hankalin su kuma in abu ba zai amfanar ba bai kamata a taho da shi ba da dan uwa shak malam abdul jabbar a dan uwa ne ana tare kani ne ya tafi matafiyar malaman da suka gabata tun daga farko ake ta buharin nan ake ta buharin nan ake ta bu ko da distorted ko da hadisai marasa kyau a ciki sun gani sun yi shiru tun daga zamanin sa har i zuwa yanzu da yanzu ba mu shiga wannan masalar ba dan fito da abu wanda yake a koyema ko an yi shi ba shi da amfani muna fata ku malamai ku iya bakin ku burgingimu na addini suna da tsauri burgingimu da suke tsakanin ku na kadiriya tijaniya izala shi kansa Allah ya sa wannan taron da kuka yi kuka hade kanku ya zama wato wani mataki na a zauna lafiya ku iya harshen ku ku yadda za ku jawo hankalin al'umma mu tafi mu gudu tare mu tsira tare Allah ya ba mu zama lafiya muna godiya a madadin mai girma gwamnatin jihar Kano da gwamnatin jihar Kano muna godiya Sheikh Mala Abdul Jabbari da ya amsa wannan kila ya zo muna godiya ga kunzumin malaman Kano daga bangarori daban-daban da suka zo suka zo godiya ta musamman ga shi professor da ya bar aikin sa ya kamo hanya ya taho muna godiya ga jami'an tsaro da suka zo Allah ya tabbata mana da alheri assalamu alaikum